Hello and welcome. This is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here. I recently attended a stamp and scrapbook expo in Orlando and I was like a kid in a candy store. This was my first time ever attending an event like this, but I didn't have much time to see everything that there was to see because my husband and son were basically killing time at Bass Pro Shops while I was there. But I did get to meet some of my crafty friends in person that I've only known online since I started my YouTube channel, which was really cool. And I was also introduced to some new companies, including Bendu from Crafty Meraki. So in today's video, I'm sharing some game-changing products that I bought at her booth. If you've never heard of the Effortless Artistry Paper Collection from Crafty Meraki, let me share with you how awesome this product is, especially for people like me who like to mass produce cards but don't have a lot of time. This pack is called Whimsical Magnolias. It features 24 sheets of pre-colored images and sentiments that are designed to coordinate with the matching dies. And what I love about it is that it's printed on high quality heavy paper and it looks like it's been hand colored. With this particular set, the dies are one big piece that allows you to cut everything out all in one pass through a die cutting machine. Now, I love to color, but being able to blend the different colors together to achieve the look that I want takes quite a bit of time for me. And so having these already colored are perfect. So I'm going to show you how to use these die cuts with some pattern paper that looks like alcohol ink backgrounds to quickly put together some cards in less than five minutes. These are a few sheets of pattern papers by Craft Consortium called Ink Drops Candy that I had left over from another project that I'll be using for the backgrounds. And what I'd like to do to make these papers look more realistic and look more like alcohol ink backgrounds is to add glitter or sparkle with a brush marker or Wink of Stella pen along the lines where the different alcohol ink colors meet together. I used a blush rose gold color on these papers here. And it's really hard to see on camera, but it's really pretty because the same pink color that's in this pattern here is the same pink on the Magnolia die cuts. I'm going to use this one to create two cards. And since half of this paper has this peach color on it, I'm adding some color to the tops of these flowers to help tie the two colors together. And the Copic marker color is R11. It would have been easier to add this color before I die cut them out, but because these are already colored, the pink shading areas still stand out. So all I have to do is color in the entire flower with that R11. No need to worry about shading since it's already there. And to make the most of this paper, I'm going to cut this in half at the three inch mark so that I can get two cards out of it. Now the left side has this purple shade in it. So I'm going to color and cut a different colored pattern with marker V20. Of course, you don't have to do this. You can keep them pink, but I like that it ties the colors together in the background. So after cutting, I have two pieces that measure three inches by five and a half inches. And since I added rose gold metallic glitter pen to this, I'm going to pull in some rose gold foil metallic paper. I cut this sheet in half and then I cut some quarter inch strips to add to the sides of the pattern paper on the card base. Now off camera, I played around with the placement of the die cuts along the right edge of the pattern paper. And so I'm using it as a guide to place the flowers on the other card. Now I used some Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive to glue all of the pieces down. And then for the die cuts, I brought in some 3D glue it's by Colal, C-O-L-L-A-L-L, -L -L, I believe. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce that. But I brought that in to help add some slight dimension. Lynn with LV Handcrafted told me about this glue, and it's fabulous. I mail a lot of cards, so I don't really like to use a lot of thick materials. So this is great to add to the back of pieces that are a little uneven or unlevel and also to add a tad bit of lift. Another thing I forgot to mention about these papers or EAPs as they're often referred to as, is that they are printed with toner. So these can be foiled with a mink machine or a laminator and toner foil. So I have this sheet of rose gold toner foil that would have been great to use for these cards, but since I'm almost done putting these together, I'll just have to give this a try on my next batch of cards. But I'll show you again how to put together the die cuts on this second card, the one with a little more purple. To finish off both of these cards, 
I'm adding some rose gold flat sequins that I'm pulling out of this confetti mix called Midnight Dahlia from This Calls for Confetti. But I just love how striking these cards look and it took less than five minutes to make. So now I'll show you some of the other products I bought from Crafty Meraki while I was at the expo. This is another effortless artistry paper collection called Love Like No Other. And this one features some tulips with lots of different types of sentiments. There are four different colored options in this pack. And it also comes with coordinating dies. And these are two of their six by eight and a half inch pattern paper pads. This one has gingham checkered patterns in different colors along with some plaids. They are double sided and they're made with thick high quality paper. And this other pad has some beautiful smaller floral patterns. And there's some circles with flowers on them that you can use to punch out or use a die and cut those out. And you can use those to decorate the cards. But I really love these ombre sheets. Um, I plan to use these with uh, some of those magnolias. But what I plan to do next is color more of these magnolias with colors that match some of these gingham sheets to make more cards. So for this purple one, I'll be using BV11. And then for this peach one, I'll be using R11 again. I used that on the cards earlier. And then for this darker shade, I'll be using R02. So here are a few that I colored and cut out already. So I wanted to show you how adding a Copic marker color on top can change the look completely and you can make it match whatever pattern paper you're using. So I plan to cut down the papers to have two inch by five and a half inch strips so that I can get four out of each sheet. And I'll use a similar layout to the ones I created with the faux alcohol ink paper. Now I'll be sharing pictures of these cards on my Instagram when I'm finished. So make sure you're following me over there at Cards by Kendra so you can check them out. I really hope you found this video helpful and it inspires you to get creative. If you'd like to give these products a try, there's a link in the description box below. This is an affiliate link, which means if you make a purchase, I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you, which helps to support my channel. If you watch this video before midnight on May 30th, you can save an additional 20% off with their summer blowout sale. I'll have the code in the description box as well. I would love it if you'd click the thumbs up if you like this video. And if you're not already a subscriber, I hope you'll click that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. I appreciate you watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.